Hi everyone, it's Tasha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm off to the thrift shops in search of home decor that looks high end but is way easier on my budget. You just never know what kind of treasure you might find, so come on and join me for this thrift shopping challenge. Well, hello out there. I am back off to the thrift shops this week, and first up, I'm in Living Free Superstore over in Burlington, North Carolina, and I wanted to share with you all of the furniture that they have here, and I thought they had really good prices as well. You can see this large dresser is only $99, and the prices on furniture drops every week depending on how long it sits. I'm on the hunt mainly for two matching nightstands for my master bedroom, which the makeover for that will probably be next week, so keep your eyes open. I didn't have any luck on matching nightstands in here, although I did see lots of single ones that were absolutely great prices and in great shape. This sideboard was so pretty as well. It started at $189, but as you can see, that price drops every week, so it's a really nice place to snag some furniture if you're on the hunt for some. Now I've also been looking for two matching lamps also for my master bedroom and although I didn't find what I was looking for here on that front either I did see lots of really good lamps and the prices were amazing. A lot of these were only around $5 or $6 a lamp and looking back that would have been worth it just for some of those shades alone. I'm not sure what I was thinking while I was there not grabbing some of them. I also looked at artwork here and even found some of the same glasses that I already have the set of at home to add to my collection. And although I didn't buy this, I thought that this little baby carriage was so cute for a little girl. It was a pretty good price for a vintage piece like that, but we just didn't need it in our home. But how cute is that? I've never seen a wall spoon quite this large. This is like a wall ladle or something thought it was pretty neat and also this serving tray with the little edges that are kind of offset I thought that was very pretty although I certainly don't need any more trays right now but I just kept seeing pieces of furniture throughout the store that really caught my eye as well as a lot of little vintage items and nothing was priced particularly high so it was really fun to look around I also thought that this large piece was particularly noteworthy. Um, I don't know if you can tell how large this actually is until my hand goes into the shop, but this is some sort of vintage serving set. has the bowl on the top and all of those petals of this big flower come off to be like either plates or little serving dishes. I thought that was really cool. This dish was also really beautiful with a cracked glass bowl on the top and the brass bottom. And now I'm back in Durham over at Nearly New Thrift Shop and I'm just taking a look around at everything here. I don't usually find a lot of furniture here or larger pieces but the textiles and home goods are nice to look through. I thought that this would be really nice for someone into that cottage core style that's so popular right now. It isn't for me but I did think it was kind of cute. And I really loved this brass planter with these rabbits all around it a lot. However, I couldn't really justify spending almost $20 on it when it wasn't really a need in our home, but I thought it was really pretty and unique. I also really liked these two cats. This is a pretty large um, figurine or statue if you want to call it, but it was $60, I think, maybe $69, so I passed on that as well. However, I did find some interesting frames at pretty good prices, and so I got a couple of those.
Now this is what I brought home from thrifting this week. First of all, I'll show you two things I'm just going to put away for Christmas next year. First, these two candlestick holders that are these reindeer. These are pewter or some sort of heavy metal and I thought that these were really pretty for $2.99 each. I also got this little kind of Charlie Brown looking Christmas tree for $4.99 that I thought would look nice inside of an aesthetic pot for next Christmas. So I'm just going to pack those away. I got this beautiful dresser for only $20 on Facebook Marketplace. I couldn't believe it when I saw it was listed for $20 and my husband was kind enough to drive about a half an hour and go and snatch it up. I want to take the hardware off and replace that and luckily the drawers all slide really well. They do have some kind of weird plastic film down that peels up. It gives me masking tape vibes, so I'm definitely going to be taking this off. Now, I grabbed this dresser so that I could use it for my daughter's room. Right now, we have a changing table dresser combo that's more of a nursery style, so we'll be upgrading to this a little bit more of a big girl dresser. Now, this dresser is nice and sturdy, but it does have veneer along the sides and top, so with my limited woodworking experience and skill level, I thought the best thing for me would probably be to go ahead and paint it and then apply some sort of finish. I was really inspired by this color Harvest Brown that's made by Bear. I saw some other people online using it on furniture, and I found on matchmypaintcolor.com this color called Outer Banks that I could get and share with Williams brand, which is what I like to buy. So after sanding and priming, I'm painting it with that color called Outer Banks, and then I'm giving it a layer of polyacrylic to finish it off. A really pretty champagne bronze color, so they, they slide so that they can fit on any hole size, which I think is really really cool well any whole size up to a certain amount but still it makes it so much easier I was having a hard time finding handles that were three and a half inches apart exactly so this is a great Amazon find these are a champagne kind of bronze color and I wanted to keep the original um, little knobs that go on these top drawers um, they don't exactly match so I'm hoping that my European gold rub and buff will make it match this champagne color a little bit closer I think that it will so I do think that applying the rub and buff helped the color match a little bit better it's still not exactly a match but it makes it have a more powdery kind of finish which is more like the bottom um, handles are and so I'm happy with that I'm just putting everything back on now that all of my polyacrylic has dried and everything is ready to go I'm going to be applying an antiquing wax finish over this but I'm still waiting on that to arrive from Amazon so for now this is the finished product I'm going to go ahead and take it up into her room and apply the antiquing wax over it a little bit later I do think that it looks pretty good as it is already now since I'm going to be upgrading that part of her room, I also picked up this lamp for only $2.99 over at Trosa Thrift Store. It works and it's in really good condition except for all of the dust. I found an exact match except for it's in white for about $50 online on eBay. And I also picked up two lampshades from Trosa as well. I think they only charge me 99 cents each. So this one is a nice gathered pleated, which is really in style right now. And then I got this wider sort of pleated one that's almost like fluted also. So for the ivory one, I just need to dust it off really well, and for the other one, it did have some scuffs and marks. As I suspected, the black marks are harder to get off than the little brown specks, and so I'm gonna go in with the clean side of a magic eraser on those scuffs to see if it will help. And it did help, as you can see from this footage, it kind of just took it right away. It did take a little bit of scrubbing. If you're going to be trying this on a lampshade again, I would just reiterate that you want to use a clean piece of a magic eraser, not a part that you've already rubbed something off with, or you might end up staining your shade further. I thought these were kind of comparable to these two shades from Target, but as you already know, lampshades are expensive right now, so I was thrilled to get these for only 99 cents. And now I'm just going back and taking out the plastic on the larger fluted one that was already breaking and peeling. Now another thing that I brought home this week was this tissue box cover. I think that this is like a woven seagrass style and I thought it was so pretty. Sometimes the simplest little finds can just make your day such as a tissue box cover but I found this one at McGee & Co for almost $47 just by itself and I think that it's a similar style. I actually like mine a little bit better to be honest and this one from Amber Lewis's shop is 
over $70, so I was thrilled to find this one for only $2.99. Just makes something like even a simple box of tissues, something that looks nice sitting out in your home. I also found this little flatware caddy. I think it's technically is what it is. It was only $3.99. I thought it was really pretty and I'm actually going to be using it instead for some cleaning supplies under my bathroom cabinet. I did find this comparable one over at McGee & Co for about $27. So I was very happy with mine for only $3.99. Next, I found this Matryoshka doll, this Russian nesting doll set for $5.99 at Trosa Thrift Store. I just thought it was a cool thing, and of course I had my daughter's dresser in mind when I grabbed this. I used to have a set of these growing up, and mine looks something more like this, but I thought that this was a pretty good price to have this little sort of tchotchke on her dresser that was really cute. I also brought home this frame. This was from nearly new thrift shop it was two dollars and fifty cents i'm not totally sure what the material is it's heavy it's something like stone possibly it's travertine or i'm not exactly sure maybe it's just resin but i found this one at mcgee and co this is the striped bone frame it's forty six dollars as you can tell i was really happy with mine for only two dollars and fifty cents and here's another stoneware glazed frame from mcgee and co that's also up there in price so again i thought that this was a great deal for two dollars and fifty cents I also brought home this gold bud base. This is kind of a taller, slimmer style. I thought that it was, was just so pretty with the black mixed with the gold. This was $2.99 from Durham Rescue Mission, and I'm just gonna be nestling this in right now into my hutch area and styling it with a single bud that I have on hand from some roses I got thrifting a while back. I think that this adds a little something to the hutch and it can be moved around anywhere in the house, and I just like the richness that it adds. Now, jumping all around here, I know, but back to my daughter's bedroom, which I'm gonna show you at the end. I'm just taking and paint washing her hamper just to make sure that that's gonna fit the color a little bit better. You can see the before and after there, and watch me do this in the video linked above. I'm also taking this frame, which was $4.99 for this kind of vintage floral painting. It's one of those kind of faux paintings. It's all one piece. So I have printed out a landscape that I want to use in this frame from CVS. It already has this nice linen wrapped matting. And I've just taken some Mod Podge on the painting. And while that's drying, I'm also going to apply some rub and buff over the whole frame to get rid of the silvery tone and make it match the gold tones of the room a little bit better. And I'm also just changing the wiring around so that it will hang horizontally. I've used a staple gun for that just to move the wire and kind of twisted it. You might remember this frame from my last video I found in the outlet bin store and I'm going to be placing a photo in that that we printed at CVS as well. And now I have moved the black lamp that I have thoroughly dusted up into her room. The dresser is up there now and I'm just starting to style it. I have three of these cloth bound books on hand that we already own that were also thrifted. I'm placing the gold picture, I'm placing the Matryoshka dolls, and this is for kind of one side of the dresser. On the other side I'm placing this face also thrifted for $2.99 as well as these faux florals and also this wrapped lidded canister that I made as a dupe to a McGee & Co piece a few videos back and you can see that video linked above as well. So here are the two lampshade options. You can see I have number two on it right now but this was number one with the kind of gathered one. Let me know in the comments which one you actually prefer. That pretty much wraps up the dresser area for now until I get the antiquing wax and go back over this again to give it more of a distressed aged look, which I think will be really pretty, but I'm very happy with how it turned out already. And don't forget to kind of check out that little basket in the corner, that hamper. It has much more of a neutral tone than it did with the orange before. And as an added fun touch, you may remember on the opposite side of her bedroom, it has this hand painted rainbow that I did when we moved in. So for an added fun touch over here on the dresser, I painted the sides of the drawers in the same six rainbow colors that are on the wall on the other side just for a fun touch for her to enjoy. And although I have a lot more I would like to do in here, that about wraps it up for this week's video. I really appreciate you watching and if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, leave me a comment letting me know what you liked and subscribe if you would like to see more of these in your feed. And until next week, have a wonderful one. I will see you at the next video.